The Hubble Space Telescope, one of history's most important and groundbreaking pieces of technology. Hubble's been the source of many awe-inspiring cosmic photos and has played a big hand in many scientific discoveries. Launched in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope has had an eventful 30-plus year history, but ever since the launch of the new James Webb Space Telescope, the Hubble's been left in the dark, and I thought, why not show the Hubble some love for all the work it's done? Today, I'm going to show you some of the most iconic photos ever taken by the Hubble Space Telescope over the past three decades, and go a little more in depth about the science behind the photos. Before we start, make sure to subscribe for new astronomy and astrophysics videos coming soon. Now, as always before we start, any information I found for this video will appear as a number on the screen, the number will correspond with the number in the description, they'll have the citation and link from where the information was found. So, our first iconic photo might not be that visually pleasing, but it is an important piece of Hubble's history. Dubbed First Light, this image was the first ever released photo taken of the Hubble Space Telescope. The purpose of this image was to show the telescope's resolution power compared to some of the most powerful ground-based telescopes at the time. The image on the left was a photo taken of an area of sky from a 100-inch ground-based telescope at the Las Campos Observatory in Chile. The image on the right is the same area of sky taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Our next photo falls into the history category again. What you're seeing here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the spiral galaxy M100. What some may not know is that after Hubble's launch, it came to the attention of scientists on the ground that there was a problem with the telescope's main mirror. It was found that the primary mirror was rounded too flat by the depth of 2.2 micrometers. This mistake had a noticeable effect on the clarity of the photos that could be taken. Unable to bring the telescope back out of orbit, between December 2nd and December 13th, 1993, astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour took part in Service Mission 1, a mission that in the simplest of terms put a giant pair of glasses on the Hubble telescope. The image on the left is M100 before the service mission, and the image on the right is after the service mission. NGC 3372, the Carina Nebula. The Carina Nebula is a large nebula located in the southern constellation Carina. The photo taken by Hubble shows the birthplace of young stars forming out of a giant cloud of cosmic dust, hydrogen, and some other heavier elements. The material within this cloud will soon become dense enough to form stars, and in some cases, these stars may be surrounded by extra material and over time will form into a hot, flat disk around the star. This happens due to the conservation of energy and due to angular momentum. These disks can become home to new planets and worlds beyond our solar system. NGC 7293, the Halix Nebula. Nicknamed the Eye of God, the Helix Nebula is a tube-shaped planetary nebula that formed after a main sequence star near the end of its life grew into a red giant. Before its death, the star blew its outer layers of gas into space, leaving behind a white dwarf star. The Helix Nebula is actually positioned face-on with Earth, giving it a flat look compared to its true tube-like structure. M104, the Sombrero Galaxy. A personal favorite of mine, M104 is located over 30 million light years away from Earth and can be found in the constellation Virgo. M104 is a spiral galaxy that has an estimated mass of roughly 800 billion suns and a diameter of 50,000 light years. While on our trip through the cosmos, why not take a stop in the neighborhood? 
This photo from Hubble is of Saturn, taken on September 12, 2021. In this photo, Saturn's North Pole hexagon storm, Cassini ring division, and breathtaking colors can be seen in all their glory. Even some of Saturn's moons can be seen in this photo as well. NGC 1999, also known as the Keyhole Nebula. NGC 1999 is a reflection nebula that can be found in the constellation Orion. The nebula itself could only be seen due to the star V3A3 Orionis, a very young and hot star that is illuminating the area of surrounding space, allowing the nebula itself to be seen. M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, a favorite deep sky target among astronomers. One characteristic that is often overlooked when it comes to this majestic galaxy is its interaction with NGC 5195, a small irregular galaxy that is tugging on one of the spiral arms of the galaxy. The tidal forces between the two galaxies have sparked a young star-forming region of space which was all captured by the Hubble. NGC 2014 and NGC 2020. This might seem like something straight out of science fiction, but in fact, it is two separate nebulas located in the large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. UGC 2885, a spiral galaxy 232 million light years away that is two and a half times larger than the Milky Way and contains 10 times as many stars. UGC 2885 is actually one of the largest spiral galaxies that we have ever discovered. The bright stars in the image are actually stars within our own Milky Way that have been caught in the light of sight of the photo. M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. This photo here is actually the largest image ever assembled by the Hubble Space Telescope, and it shows our neighboring galaxy in an incredibly high level of detail. So much detail that even though Andromeda is two and a half million light years away, the Hubble Telescope was able to make up individual stars within the Andromeda galaxy. That is insane. M1, the Crab Nebula, also the first entry in the Messier catalog. M1 is actually the remains of a supernova, and in 1054, the star that went supernova was so bright that it could be seen in the daytime sky. It was actually documented and observed by Japanese and Chinese astronomers at the time. Our final and probably most iconic Hubble photo ever taken isn't just one photo, but multiple photos. The Hubble Deep Field series. The first Hubble Deep Field photo took place in 1995. It consists of 342 exposures taken over 10 days. The resulting image consists of thousands of galaxies in the distant universe, some of which only formed about a billion years after the Big Bang. Observing these galaxies means we are looking over 13 billion years into the past. The end product of these photos is nothing short of amazing. The Hubble has since had a second deep field, an ultra deep field, and an extreme deep field. These photos can truly be humbling. It puts into perspective how large the universe truly is. The area of sky captured in the first Hubble deep field is only about 1 13th the size of a full moon in the night sky. Choosing the most iconic Hubble photos to put into a single video is truly an impossible task. While doing research for this video, I found out that over its 30 year history, the Hubble Space Telescope has taken over a million photos. That's a lot of data. 
The goal of this video today was to show the beauty of the universe. We sometimes see space as an empty and endless void, but it truly is the opposite of that. You just need to know where to look, and sometimes you need to view the universe in a different spectrum. I say that because the Hubble Space Telescope doesn't just view the sky in visible light, but it's able to view the sky a bit into the ultraviolet and the infrared spectrum as well. In fact, some of the photos you saw in today's video were actually stacked photos of the Hubble viewing the same object in the three different spectrums. Another reason I wanted to make today's video is because it allows us to appreciate what we're going to be able to do with the new James Webb Space Telescope a little bit more. If we were able to observe the universe in such high detail with a piece of technology that we as humans launched in the 90s, what we're going to be able to do with the new James Webb Space Telescope is truly going to be astonishing. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. If you want to see new astronomy and astrophysics videos coming soon, make sure to subscribe. Until then, take care.